Hey Math 43, welcome to your first bonus deep dive out of chapter 12. So if we take a look at this problem, it looks like researchers are studying a pack of gray wolves in North America, collecting data on the length in meters from nose to tip of tail and the weight in kilograms of the wolves. A scatter plot of weight versus length revealed the relationship between the two variables described as positive, linear, and strong. So just taking a look at this, I can see a couple of things. I see one numerical variable here and a different numerical variable here. And I'm going to just take note that I have two numerical variables. All right, I have an explanatory and response variable. But when you have two numerical variables, specifically the part that you have two, you're going to be doing some kind of regression analysis. And typically in this class, we do linear regression, but regression moves beyond that. But it's just good to take note of there's one of my variable, there's its units. There's my other variable, there's its units. And we were told we've got a positive strong linear relationship, great. We weren't given the raw data, but we were given the LSRL. And there it is. And the first question I'm asked is, hey, can you interpret the slope? Well, we have a template from chapter 12 and I'm just going to go quite literally plug in for my particular problem, right? My x variable here is length. Its units are meters. My y variable is weight. And its units are kilograms. The slope in and of itself, well, let's go get that from the line. If I take a look at this line, there's my slope of 35.02. All right, and because my slope is positive, I'm going to be increasing. And if we wanted to look at the slope as more of a unit ratio, I could. I could say this is 35.02 in ratio to 1, because you could make any number a unit ratio. And when we think of this as y's over x's, let's go back and look at units. That would be kilograms to meters. And really what that's saying is for every 1 meter longer, this gray wolf becomes, we predict that their weight goes up by about 35 kilograms. So let's go ahead and write that up in a sentence. So we would say for every one inch increase in the length of a gray wolf, the predicted average increase in weight is, all right, and it was 35.02 kilograms, all right? And I, I'm also asking you to interpret the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is the other number that's in our LSRL, and we can think of that, if I just put a little division here, a little marker, as 0, negative 16.46, right? This is the length, and this is the weight. And you can see that both of these numbers are, are nonsense, right? You're not going to have a gray wolf that's zero meters long, and there's no way to have a wolf weigh negative 16 kilograms. This is going to be an example of extrapolation. I can see it here, where we are predicting outside of our initial data range. And yes, they didn't give us the original data, but there's no, there's no way that uh, we had a gray wolf of zero meters long in our sample. All right, so with that, let's go, let's go plug this in, right? I still have a template, so this is going to be length. Oops, that's how you spell it. This is going to be meters. This is going to be weight. This is going to be kilograms, and this is going to be negative 16.46. So let's go put that into a sentence. So when the gray wolf is zero meters long, its predicted weight is negative 16.46 kilograms. Right, and again, that's extrapolation, but that is how we would interpret it. All right, so the next problem is saying, hey, we've got one wolf in our pack. It had a length of 1.4 meters. So I just want to point out when I hear a length of 1.4 meters, I see that as an x variable, right? The units are lining up. 
And then it also tells me I had a residual of negative 9.67 kilograms. Now, I want to point out that I noticed that these units, these are Y units, right? And when I say Y units, right, we're talking about weight for this problem. And if we think about the formula for a residual, a residual is always the actual Y value minus a predicted Y value. And when I talk about Y values in this case, for this particular problem, let me erase the words Y value, and we're going to plug in weight. So it is an actual weight minus a predicted weight. Now, for any type of residual, anytime we're talking about the predicted weight, we're talking about a Y hat. Anytime we're talking about actual data, right, we get this, like I said, from our data. Now, again, they didn't give us the raw data in this problem, so I can't go look for it. But I do have enough. And what I mean by that is I was told the residual value. I could find the predicted weight because we have an equation for y hat. So if I could find those two things, then I could solve for the actual weight, which is what I'm being asked to find anyways. So let's, let's parse this out. Here's what I mean. My residual is negative 9.67. I am looking for the actual weight. If I can find the predicted weight, Right. If I can find this number, then I can use algebra and solve for it. Well, we have a formula for y hat, right? We have it right up here. It was given to us. So I'm going to copy that down over here. So my y hat is negative 16.46 plus 35.02 times x. All right. So if I ever want to find a predicted weight, right? that is literally what this means, predicted weight, all I need is an x value. Well, I have it. Let's plug in 1.4. So I get negative 16.46 plus 35.02 times 1.4. And when I crunch that number, I'm going to get 32.568 kilograms. Meaning if, if I have a wolf and I measure this wolf to be 1.4 meters, I'm going to predict that wolf's weight to be 32.568. Well, that again is my y hat. Let's plug this in. All right, so let me erase this and let me get the actual number. We've got what, um, 32.568. All right, now it's an algebra problem. I'm gonna add 32.568 to both sides of the equation. And when I crunch that, I'm gonna get x is equal to, and let me um, work this on my calculator, I'm gonna get 22.898 kilograms. So the actual weight, for this particular wolf was 22.898. I actually very much overestimated the weight. I thought it was 32.568, which is why the residual is negative, because the actual was less than the predicted. All right, thanks so much, everyone.